Hey guys, it's Nick from Dog Ascension. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own Counter Strike Source dedicated server. So, we're going to hop into mine. Um, this is port forwarded, um, but I just did it through WAN, that way we don't have to go through the server browser. Alright, so you're going to have your own server. Obviously, this is going to teach you how to make your own server to play with your friends, your own, your own password and stuff. So, you can see my latency is 5, um, because, you know, I'm running it from my own computer. So, it runs pretty smooth, so let's dive in, and I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay guys, so now we're at my desktop. So now, what you want to do to make your server is right click, click new, click folder. Name it whatever you want, um, I'm just going to name it, I already have one, I'm not sure if you see it over there, it's called CSS server, it's right there. But, I'm going to start fresh. So what you want to do is you want to open this. And you want to do have download, and you want to go to this website. Link will be in the description. And you want to click this Windows zip file, or if you have Linux, click that. Um, I only know how to do this on Windows. So what you want to do is you're gonna have this open, obviously. So I already have it installed, but once it's installed, what you want to do? Head over to my download. You know what? Now I'll just reinstall it. Um, just open it up, and you're, you'll have Steam to cmd.exe. Do not run this, but keep it open. You will need WinRAR for this. So, open this. I'm going to side these because that's much better. Click and drag Steam CMD into it, or you could just click Extract too. Close that and run Steam CMD. It's going to do all this bull crap that no one really cares for. Well, <laughs> I shouldn't call it bull crap because this is kind of what the server runs off of. So, you're just going to allow access to it and all this mess. And once it gets here, most, you know, I, it's pretty simple. Just do what I do. Or, you know, you can read from this website also, but I, I don't know. So you're going to want to type login anonymous. Alright, and then press enter. It's going to connect anonymous, uh, it's going to connect anonymously to Steam Public, and once it's a success, it's going to do this again. So it says to do all this crap. Don't do this. <laughs> Just do this one. Um, so you go down to Counter Strike Source Dedicated Server, and you have this. Jesus. Um, just Control C it, and then go back to here. Click, or don't click. But now you want to type app underscore update space and then right click here the little steam thing right click edit paste and then validate all right now once this finishes because this can take 30 minutes to an hour i will get back to you when this is done okay guys and that's finished so it'll say success app 232330 fully installed that's counter strike source so then you're gonna, it's gonna, you know, you know, just click the X. You don't have to do any of that. It's gonna do all this crap, illegal termination of the worker thread and all that bull. And then you wanna go back to here, and you're gonna have all this. Click Steam Apps Common Counter Strike Source Dedicated Server. Now you're gonna have this. Now if you were to run this right now, it would run a typical server with nothing that you want. So, what you want to do, is you want to go to this website, the link will be in the description, and you you can do all this. Um, call it whatever you want, you know, so I'm just going to call it this. Alright, and then you can set your password, your archive password, usually I don't do that, um, because I find it pointless, so we're just going to make it diving is you know what no I'm just just call it diving okay now here you can do friendly fire I usually turn that on keep now it's things like simple like footsteps keep it on auto bounce auto kick that's all up to you um I usually put all talk on also but usually it's just my friends so we're usually usually in a Skype call this stuff you could change all of this I usually change this to this because that's the highest amount of money and I think I put too much in. No, okay. Keep that the same, unless you really feel like changing that. Most of that, though, I keep the same. 
Um, bandwidth, don't mess with it. At least I don't. You know, you you could put your bots in. It's very simple. You you'll understand it when you get in. Now you get down here, operation. You can make a LAN only or LAN and internet. Do LAN and internet. Select where you're at. I'm on the east coast. And then see this? It says generic optimized hyper. Keep it generic. And then click run CFG maker. And then it'll do this. So all you gotta do, select all of this, control C, and then it's gonna say, copy and paste phone code into a server, uh, CFG file, and place it on your servers, C strike, CFG directory. Let's go in here, C strike, CFG. Now there's no server.cfg, so what you have to do is you have to click new, or you have to right click, click new, don't click it, put your mouse over new, click text document, and th then just type server. Open it up, control V, file, save as, where it says save as type, change it to all files, and change your file name to server.cfg, and then press save. Close that, and now you're going to have server.cfg. So the text document, delete, but keep the config. Now, what you want to do is now that that's done, you can go over to here. Um, actually, I'll just leave the code. You don't have to go to this link. I'll just leave the code for this in the bottom, in the description below. All the other links will be here. Anyways, this is the code you're going to need. And it's straightforward, really. Um, just go here, right click, new, text document, run. We're doing the same thing as before. Click run and control C, control V it. Um, you can change this around the map. I usually don't change because it might mess up your map rotation and crash the server and stuff. Let's keep that. Change the max players. Um, now I'm VAC banned in Counter-Strike Source sadly enough. That's why I do this. Because in April some dude hacked my account, went on and got me banned for a couple games. So if you want it to be a non-VAC server, click after the E in auto update, press space, do that thingy, I think that's the dash, yeah, that's what it's called, and then type insecure, and then save it. Um, that's only, it, and, oh, I'm stupid, don't save it. Um, so once you've finished in here, go to file, save as, don't just save. And do all files, and dot bat, this is a batch file, and this is how you will run the server. Delete the text document, obviously. And then I will show you port forward after I show you that this works. Okay, that has my IP in, a, in that, so I'm just going to go hide that because I'm stupid. Either that or I could just censor it, but I'm just going to hide it. <laughs> and yeah, so VAC secure mode disabled. Now go here, go to Counter Strike Source. Okay, so I will show you it when I'm... Okay, so once you get in the Counter-Strike source, I don't know why it just windowed itself there. Oh shit. Anyways, <laughs> what you want to do, go to find servers and land. Diving Ascension, to, to, well, that means tutorial, <laughs> tutorial video. Click it, whatever your password was, mine was... God damn, I'm stupid. Mine was diving. And then you can connect. Now, you can connect, but nobody else can. So now I'm going to show you how to port forward. Once I get in, um, you know, you'll see, your latency is low. It'll be low compared to everybody else unless they're in your house. This first time usually takes a little while. Um, Alright, and you can do what you want then. It works. So, um, so now I will show you how to port forward. Okay, guys, so now that you saw my server was working, I'm going to shut it down, which means it'll boot you from it saying uh, whatever, while it's connected to the server, I don't freaking know. It'll do that mess, you know. Um, I'm getting messages from my friend. Um, anyways, you want to go to your internet browser, and then you want to type in, um, you know, you're at your default gateway, and to figure that out, go here, IP config, I'm gonna have to block a bunch of shit out. Don't know, oh, god damn it, I can, 
have to type CMD, and then once you're in here, you type ipconfig. Um, and then you're gonna see default gateway. So you just want to type in that default gateway. Um, it'll have an, a username and a password. Usually the username and the password is admin, and the password is ad. Well, they're both admin. You usually, unless you change them on your own. So now go here, and I have all these other ones that I don't even use. So I'm just gonna delete these. Um, these are all old things that I haven't used in a while. Oh Jesus, I, I'm supposed to keep that though. Okay. So actually I could just do a totally fresh thing. Alright. Shut up. Um now this might be different to how your router is. Um as you can see mine might not be the same as yours unless you have a Cisco router. But if you have a Cisco, go to applications and gaming, single port forwarding. Call I'm gonna call it counter strike. Now the external port and the internal port, it's 27015, just remember that. And keep protocol both, I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that. And then you just type in your IP address, and then for me I click enable, and then I'll just save changes, or save settings. Um, so once that's done, you've just port forwarded, which means you can now run this server and people can connect from anywhere pretty much so that's just about it thanks guys um hope this helped you guys uh peace okay so once you get in the counter strike source i don't know why it just windowed itself there oh shit anyways <laughs> what you want to do go to find servers and LAN. diving ascension to, to well that means tutorial <laughs> tutorial video click it whatever your password was mine was God damn, I'm stupid. Mine was diving. And then you can connect. Now, you can connect, but nobody else can. So now I'm going to show you how to port forward. Once I get in, um, you know, you'll know you see, your latency is low. It'll be low compared to everybody else unless they're in your house. This first time usually takes a little while. Um, Alright, and you can do what you want then. It works. So, um, so now I will show you how to port forward.